Did you know Shepard used to be a gangsta? Well, at least if you chose the Earthborn background in character creation. In this video, we're going to explore the quest Citadel Old Friends, a unique Earthborn specific mission in Mass Effect 1. We'll explore the main outcomes to this quest, as well as the consequences for Mass Effect 2. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, you should know I have over 150 Mass Effect Trilogy videos on my channel, including hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more Mass Effect, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. During Mass Effect 1, there are three background specific missions that you can unlock based on your choice of pre-service history in character creation. Those backgrounds are Earthborn, Colonist, and Spacer. If you choose the Earthborn background, then Shepard's past will come back to haunt him. When Shepard was a youth, he was part of a gang on Earth called the 10th Street Reds. About halfway through the game, the commander will run into one of his former gang compatriots named Finch outside Korra's den on the Citadel. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. My history is a matter of public record. I've got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. When you speak to the Turian guard, you'll learn what Finch failed to mention. His homeboy Weissman and the 10th Street Reds as a whole have turned into a gang of alien-hating xenophobes. Can I help you? You've got a prisoner named Kurt Weissman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things, human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the Xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. What sentence is Wiseman likely to receive? Considering that he attempted to commit a Xenophobic hate crime, I would expect him to receive a lifetime imprisonment. Why are you calling him a Xenophobe? The human acknowledged his affiliation with several anti-alien organizations. His crime specifically targeted Turians as a species. It was a hate crime and will be treated as such at his sentencing. What crime did Wiseman commit? He attempted to poison medical cargo being sent to a Turian colony to treat an outbreak of a dangerous disease. If he'd succeeded, millions would have died. This human is a dangerous xenophobe. From here, you have two general paths you can pursue with the guard. Walk away, or use a Paragon or Renegade speech check to convince him to release Weissman. Let's start with the speech check. As a Spectre on an important mission, I'd like you to cut him loose. Are you suggesting that you are using him as bait to entrap more powerful criminals? Trust me on this. Letting Weissman go will solve a lot of problems in the long run. In that case, I shall go now. The criminal will be released in a few hours. Good luck with your mission. I look forward to hearing the results. This outcome is incredibly anticlimactic. You cannot speak to Finch afterwards. 
he just disappears from the game, and that's the end of the quest. However, if you don't convince the guard to release Weissman, then Finch comes into the bar to confront Shepard. Thanks for the information. One of Wiseman's friends was less than honest with me. I understand. Weissman was too well supplied to be acting alone. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard in his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. There are three different ways you can end the quest from here. First, you can use a speech check to convince him to stand down. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. The specter is right. This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. Failing that, you can pay Finch bribe money to get him to lay off. This will cause the Turian guard to basically call Shepard a puss. What is this gonna prove? I left that life a long time ago. You never leave the life. If you won't help us, We'll drag your name through the dirt. Your alien friends will revoke your specter status. You'll be nothing. Unless you're willing to pay, say, 500 credits. Fine, get out of here. We're done. Pleasure to see you again, Shepard. Feel free to drop by next time you're ground side. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a specter. You should have killed him. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of specter you turn out to be. You can also choose to shoot Finch instead, which the Turian loves to see. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. No, they won't. Impressive. Perhaps the first human specter will not be a disappointment after all. Goodbye, specter. Regardless of your choice, the smear campaign against Shepard never materializes. But what about Mass Effect 2? If Shepard didn't kill Finch, the commander will receive a message from him in the sequel. It reads, Shepard, had family on a colony that got hit. I used some contacts with the Reds and found a couple of people who said they could get you this message. You might not have much use for me. You spend too much time with the damn aliens, pretending your time in the gangs back on Earth never happened. I know you weren't happy when I found you on the Citadel a couple years back, but I'm glad you're on this. I hope you find whoever took my people on Freedom's Progress and kicked their scaly asses. I'm glad it's a human finding these bastards. I'm glad it's you. Do the Reds proud. And that's the last time you'll ever hear from Finch. Shepard's Earthborn background only comes up in a handful of conversations in Mass Effect 2 and 3, and if I recall correctly, the commander's former gang affiliations are not mentioned. So there you have it, Shepard used to be a gangsta in the Earthborn background. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. I also live stream gameplay right here on this YouTube channel. So if you want to catch a stream of me playing Mass Effect or other RPGs, I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.